Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in this video, we're going to be going over whether the horse glitch works or not currently in the story mode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So I've been getting a lot of comments on YouTube and messages and other things saying that this has been patched. So I want to be able to see if this has been patched or not. Now we do have some, uh, we have a a couple people right here in front of us that we're going to be able to take this and try this out. I've never actually seen anybody truly hunt in Red Dead. So seeing that carcass put on the back of a horse was actually pretty cool. Ow. I've, uh, I'm actually kind of shocked. I've never seen that. So anyway, we have our first victim right here. We're going to test to see if this thing is working. I can actually go ahead and just be like, what's up, partner? So I, what we need to do is we need to pull out our binoculars and we need to check what kind of horse he's got. He's got a Morgan of a horse. And then what you need to do is grab your lasso and then you're going to yank him off the horse. And I know that some people say that you don't necessarily need to shoot him, but I like to make sure that you shoot him, get him down so that the horse runs away for sure. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run away from the character, from the NPC. And then we're going to see what kind of horse he spawns with next. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull him off his horse real quick. The horse is going to run away. We're going to drag this guy this way for just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab out my my gun here. I'll make sure that I'm not using my volcanic. So I'm just going to go ahead and give him a love tap in the foot there. And what you need to do is you need to run away. See how he has a dot on the minimap. He's going to change to a sliver. Once he changes to a sliver, you can go ahead and turn around and he's going to be getting on another horse. Now, if we look at this horse, we're going, to, we're going to be able to shoot this guy off here real quick and we're going to be able to see what kind of horse he's got here. And now he's got an American paint. And was that a splash white one? No. Okay, it's not. So you can see that I thought it was one of the rarest horses in the game there for a second. That would have been pretty crazy. So you you can see that we got a different horse. Now, not every time you're going to get a rare and exotic horse. It might literally be another Morgan or it might be another Kentucky Saddler. It might just be something that you really don't want or what you're not looking for. But it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of patience. But I assure you that the horse that we are currently riding on, which is the Rose Gray Bay Arabian, I got by being able to do or got this horse by using this specific method. So let's go ahead and find another victim here. And I'm over in the Heartlands. Uh, if you guys really don't know where that's at, I'm going to go ahead and pull it on the map. The reason that I like this area the best is it's really open. You don't have to worry about trees like in the Moine or even like in Amarino area. This, it just seems like this is really open. So if the horses, when they do run away from you to catch them and lasso them, you have a lot more open space to be able to do that. Whereas if you're dealing with trees, you have to navigate them and you have a chance of losing the horse that you're actually trying to obtain. So let's go ahead and find ourselves another victim real quick. And we need to equip our binoculars right away. So I'm actually going to ride. Hang on. Let's just stop for just a second. Oh, we got a guy right there. There's a deer, dead deer for no apparent reason right there. So we need to get a little bit closer to this guy that is right here in front of us. And we need to find out what kind of horse he is riding on. So what does he got? He has a Tennessee Walker. Perfect. All right. So you guys can see that he had the Tennessee Walker. And we got an investigation going from the last person that I just killed. But we're going to go ahead and yank this guy off the horse real quick. Not so fast. I, I need to borrow you for a second because we need to get ourselves another horse. I'm sorry, Mr. NPC. You're going to have to just understand that we're looking for horses and that you are... That you are okay, we got him shot in the legs and that you're a kind of our guinea pig during this. So you got to run away because he's currently a dot on the minimap. And as soon as he becomes a sliver, just go ahead and turn around. And he should be riding at you on a different horse, which he is which is perfect. And we're just going to give him a little tap. And what does he got now? He's got a Nakoda. So if the Nakoda is one that you wanted, actually, it's pretty decent as far as a horse goes. Wow. I didn't think the Nakodas were that good, but so if you wanted that one, all you'd have to do is saddle it up and then you just take it to 
your stable. Now, just keep in mind that there are some, there are some uh, gang horses that you can't obtain, but they will spawn here. And all you would need to do is, if you wanted this guy, you just have to get up close to him. Now he's gonna take off on us, of course, because he's pretty fast. This is why you do this in the Heartlands versus really anywhere else, because then you don't have to worry about them, like making their way somewhere where it's virtually impossible to find them ever again. Which, obviously, in the trees, I've done that before. That's too far away. Come here, horse. There we go. Now that we've lassoed him, we can calm him down a little bit. It does take a little bit of time in order to actually get him to uh, kind of calm it down. But yeah, so if this is the one that you wanted, let's get closer to him. And then you, you're going to be able to mount on him. And now he's yours. So there you go. Now you can just take this guy to, to the stables or wherever you want it to go. And uh, you could, as long as it's not a gang horse anyway, then he's now yours. So... So, but if this isn't, isn't the one that you wanted, which, I mean, he's got pretty decent stats. I mean, his uh, acceleration isn't very good, but he's got top speed, which is pretty crazy. What does this guy have? I don't even know what this guy has. So, yeah, he's one way from the top. So, believe it or not, the Nakoda is actually faster than the Rose Gray Bay Arabian horse. That's kind of interesting i don't think i ever knew that before but let's go ahead and find ourselves another victim now the one thing i obviously do like about this area too is that you guys can see people for a very long way away so you can ma it makes it easier to spot can't tell if that is a solo rider or not and you guys can't do this unfortunately with people that are on a wagon and you don't want to do it with two people because they will uh Versus in a group because uh, if you do it with a group of two or three that means that they're going to become witnesses and it's going to affect the chance of you being able to get another horse. So there's a wagon that's obviously not going to help us. All right so we have uh, stumbled across another person that we can go ahead and exploit here. So what does he got? He's got a Tennessee Walker. Now what we're going to have to be really careful with is obviously we have that that gentleman there so we're gonna have to let the solo rider go ahead and um get a ways away from him and make sure that there are no witnesses around all right so i don't see anybody else coming so this is gonna be perfect so he has a uh, tennessee walker right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lasso him off the horse Where are you going? now obviously this will decrease your honor a little bit from doing this but once you get the horse that you want all you have to really do is kind of greet everybody that's uh uh, around the area I shoot you in the foot now you just gotta run around and I all you have to do is um, you know oh, we just need to run away a little bit quicker and once he becomes a sliver go ahead and turn around but yeah so you guys can just greet other people and you guys are gonna get your honor back so there we go we got and now he's got a soul fuck punch soul folk punch there we go so if that's the horse that you wanted just take that back to the stable now we do have another person right off the bat and that's actually the reason that i decided to take him off of the beaten path a little bit because then he wouldn't necess necessarily be a witness which we don't want people to do investigation investigating at all so we got another kentucky saddler right here what we're gonna do is obviously grab our lasso out again and i'm hoping that we can get a rare horse because i'd like to be able to show you that live all right, so we're going to let him go, release him, and then we're going to grab out our our gun. Fall down, my friend. Okay, we're going to run this way again. And he's a dot on the screen, and once he becomes a sliver, you can go ahead and turn around, and he should be coming after us here in just a moment. There he comes. What does he got? I'm hoping something really good. And we got American Standard Breed. So we're going to go ahead and study. I've never studied this horse. Okay, we got a Buckskin American Standard Breed. But I like the Heartlands because it's easier to spot people. And you can catch up to the horses once they start running away. So that you can lasso them. And then tame them to become your own wonderful 
horse that you can add to your stable. Again, you can't add the gang horses to your stables, unfortunately. Well, we got ourselves another solo rider, Lone Wolf, right here in front of us. We're going to go ahead and pull out our binoculars real quick. I thought I had already done that. And we've got uh, a Morgan right here in front of us. So let's go ahead and grab our lasso. We're going to pull this guy off of uh, his horse. Come here. Come here. And somehow that cart, or that wagon went and uh, just, you know, spawned right in front of us. That was kind of crazy. Sit down. Don't you dare come after me, my friend. I need your horse. That's what we're trying to do here. Again, just run away until the dot on the minimap becomes a sliver. And you can go ahead and turn around. Now we're just going to wait for him. And you can see that he's getting on his horse right now. And I kind of want him to come off this way anyway because... Wait, where's he going? Where's he going? Come back here with my horse. What the crap is this? And he's got the Appaloosa. And if you guys wanted that one, you can go ahead and grab that one. That's a kind of a weird looking horse. All right. I see another willing participant for our experiment for today. So we have uh, Tennessee Walker here right in front of us. Let's go ahead and grab our lasso out real quick. We gotta pull this guy off his horse right here. Excuse me, sir, I need to borrow you. Please come with me. We have to talk about something. We have to talk about how you're going to give me the best rare horse right now, okay? So sit down and get some popcorn because we need to... We need to um, see what kind of horse you're going to give to us. So let's go ahead and turn around. And what do you got to get for us? Come here. This, did he just, is he running away? Or is he getting on a horse? I can't tell. There he is. And Kentucky Sailor. Well, that is very disappointing. But we did see someone that was running this way. So let's see if he despawned or if he's still over here real quick. I'm really kind of disappointed that we got a Kentucky Saddler out of it. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got another dude right here. Oh, and I can't do go fishing though right here. There's no water. And we got a Kentucky Saddler. This guy's got, looks like red hair. He's, uh, he's pretty hip back in the day. Look at him. Look at this guy. He's like styling. I need to borrow you though, okay? Please, come here. Here we go. Where are we going? Uh, I want you to sit your lazy butt down there for a second. Oh, we got another guy right there. Let's go ahead and run away, sliver, and turn around and go back. There he is. And we got it, our dens, which... There we go. It looks like, actually pretty much looks like the war horse exactly, so... Did this guy take off now on us? We pretty much have gotten every type of horse possible so far. But I think this is going to be the last one right here. Hopefully he doesn't actually become a witness real quick. Got to see what he's got. Morgan. Morgan. He's got a Morgan. Here we go. It's getting dark. Darkfall is coming in hot. And we need to get this horse changed for us. Here, come here, buddy. Thank you. Come here. Come here, I need to borrow you for just for a little bit. I mean, come on now. A witness for murder? Sit down. Okay, see, this is what happens, though, if they be actually become witnesses. that they're, they're, They are no good to you anymore. But anyway, we didn't really find any rare horses in the specific one, but I, it does work. I do assure you of that. But if you guys do have any questions about it, it will take some time or do it. I recorded... This entire segment over a 20 minute period. So you guys, it will take a little bit of time to get the horse that you're specifically looking for. But hopefully you guys will find the horse that you are looking for in the story mode. And I wish you guys the best of luck. But if you guys do have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you guys did find this video helpful or informative in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.